home to Cape Breton Island and 3,800 other coastal islands, Nova Scotia is one of the three maritime provinces of Canada located on the North Atlantic coast of North America. Known for its alluring high tides, lobster, fish, blueberries and apples, a trip to Canada is surely incomplete without a visit to this stunning region. Get a closer look like never before into the genius of one of the founding fathers of our modern technological advanced world. Dive into the life of Alexander Graham Bell and learn about his interests and his inventions including kites, airplanes, deaf education, artificial breathing and much more. You can also enjoy a tour of Bell's photos, mementos and artifacts or participate in a family activity of building a tetrahedral kite, a significant invention of Alexander Graham Bell. This is a place where the young and old can engross themselves in the history of our modern world. Heading towards the Baddock Harbor, located on the edge of the beautiful Bras d'Or Lakes of Cape Breton Island, the harbor is where the Bras d'Or Yacht Club Brigada takes place. You can come in and enjoy and even participate in the activities and the races, or you can enjoy the entertainment all day and all night in the first week of August. With this being one of the many beautiful sites of Nova Scotia, it is a must-see for all visitors. While you're visiting the lakes, take a moment to view the Baddock Lighthouse. Located on a Kinston Island, which is a very small island situated in the Bras d'Or Lakes, the lighthouse was originally built in 1875. However, the current one was built in 1912. It can only be accessed via a ferry, which operates during the summer months. The lighthouse is a great opportunity to have a picture-perfect moment at the Bras d'Or Lakes. This National Historic Site takes you back in time to the battlefield of the English and the French who were fighting for this land vigorously and violently. At the fortress of Louisbourg, you can explore what life was like for the very first European settlers. This fortress is the largest historical reconstruction in all of North America and was originally built by the French in 1713. You can learn how to fire a musket, spend a night in the fortress in the style of the 18th century, learn how to fire the cannon, and discover how the French used to throw dinner banquets back in the 18th century. Sydney, Nova Scotia is home to the world's largest fiddle. With a height of 60 feet, the big fiddle is located in front of the Joanne Harris Cruz Pavilion on the Sydney waterfront. It is designed and constructed by Cyril Hearn in 2005 and is made of solid steel. Made as a tribute to the tradition of folk music of the province's Celtic community. It is an interesting site which everyone should make time for. The Miners Museum commemorates the long and overwhelming history of coal mining in Nova Scotia. Located on the coast of Cape Breton Island on a beautiful field with roses and grass, you can learn about the impact of coal as a resource for the nation. Hear the beautiful stories of past miners and their families. Enjoy an underground mining tour from a retired miner whilst taking in the various exhibitions and walking through the historical village. The Niles Bay Lighthouse is located in the Niles Harbor with a height of 34 feet. From this lighthouse, there is a beautiful view of the Niles Harbor and the scenic view of Cabot Trail. The lighthouse was lit in 1899 and was automated in 1993.
Pleasant Bay is home to one of the most beautiful creatures of the sea, the whales. There are close to 16 different types of whales that call Pleasant Bay their home. You can take one of the whale watching tours and through hydrophones hear the whales sing. There is also underwater cameras allowing you to catch a glimpse of these majestic creatures. Here you get a chance to see the humpback whale which is known for playfully jumping out of the water or the endangered North Atlantic right whale. The bay is also home to the largest animal on the planet, the blue whale. And the pilot whale, which is known for its acrobatics. Pleasant Bay is definitely a wonderful way to immerse yourself on the beautiful world of whales. Moving towards Cape Breton Island, the huge Band Falls is a beautiful 50-foot waterfall in the middle of a granite gorge. Beside the waterfall, there is a 2-kilometer trail alongside the North Branch River. You can enjoy bird watching, hiking, and watch the wildlife there. The world-renowned Cabot Trail in the heart of Cape Breton Island is an international attraction and a must-see when visiting Nova Scotia. Located on the 300-kilometer highway, it provides remarkable views of the spectacular landscapes. The natural beauty of the highlands provides an array of opportunities for various outdoor activities that one day is simply not enough. You can go golfing, kayaking, hiking, or cycling. And there are 26 trails to choose from. There's also different tours of bird watching, cycling tours, which are most highly rated cycling tours in the world. And when kayaking, you can witness cliffs, waterfalls, sea caves, and towering arches. There's also artisan tours for aspiring artists to help them find endless amount of inspiration. So when visiting the Cabot Trail, you should plan according so that you can enjoy all the beauty that the Cape Breton Island has to offer. The Skyline Trail is a great way to get a bird's eye view of the Cabot Trail as it goes down the mountain from the top of the French mountain. There are viewing decks from where you can see the whales in the Lawrence. Meanwhile, the hike is between one and a half to three hours long and along the way you can observe the wildlife such as moose, bald eagles, bears, and boreal birds. This is an illuminating experience of the beauty of nature untouched by industrial revolution and the perfect place to get in touch with mother nature. A great way to get the perfect view of the Atlantic, Cape Rouge follows the old Cabot Trail from Trout Brook and climbs up halfway to Jerome Mountain. There are many notable pieces of Acadian history throughout this trail including an old school and residential houses. Towards the end of the trail, you get a beautiful view of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. You can also enjoy a beautiful exhibit on the families that used to reside along these trails. The Veteran Monument is one of the most prestigious sites in the entire Cabot Trail. This particular monument was placed here in 1985 by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Other similar monuments were placed in one national park in each province of Canada to recognize those Canadians who lost their lives in battle. Located on the French Mountain, the Veterans Monument should be on your list when you're visiting this beautiful province. If you want a view of the Highland Plateau and the Gulf of St. Lawrence, then Mackenzie Mountain is the perfect destination. One of the reasons why the Cape Breton National Park is so unique is because of the flat top mountains, from which you can also see the Mackenzie River. The Gulf of St. Lawrence, which is home to many marine animals, is also known to be less salty than the Atlantic. The currents of the Gulf create a nursery of various different species of fish, and also have an effect on all five provinces that it borders. Mackenzie Mountain should be a photographer's ultimate destination for Canada. K 
Cape Breton National Park is also home to the Ingonish Beach, which is not only beautified with the beach, but also harbors a large and charming campground. Visitors and campers have the opportunity to swim in the lake or the ocean, fish in the waters, play golf in vast fields, or enjoy the different tours and craft workshops. The campground has 51 tenting sites and five equipped tenting sites ready for campers. While the park is open all year long, the activities are in service from May 17th until October 28th. For a more short and calming experience in Cape Breton Highland National Park, La Bloc Beach is the place to go. On the west side of the park is where the Acadians lived. You can get a taste of their lifestyle by sitting by Pebbly Beach and watching the warm water of the Gulf of St. Lawrence rush against the pier. Or you can take a serene walk along the coast and watch the sunset whilst observing birds and other wildlife. Cape Breton Highlands National Park has several means of housing, including hotels, motels, campgrounds, RV sites, cottages, local housing, inns, retreats, and resorts. Whether your budget is small or large, or the preferred views are mountains or water, there are several options to choose from. Although there was so much space to fill, Booking should always be made in advance to ensure a pleasant and rejuvenating stay in the midst of nature. If you want to engross yourself in the beauty of nature, Cape Breton Island of Nova Scotia is a must. Enjoy hiking on Cabot Trail for the views of the highlands, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, Enjoy well watching and observe the other wildlife in the natural habitat. No trip to Canada is complete without visiting one of the most picturesque regions of the country. Welcome to Nova Scotia.